Ladies and gentlemen, we begin our 2012 presentation of the South Carolina Farm Bureau Young Farmer and Rancher Achievement Award with a visit to Chester County, where we meet Jeb and Jane Wilson, along with son Mac. The Wilson Farm is a diversified operation, including row crops, such as soybeans and cotton, as well as vegetables and fruits sold at their roadside market. A packing plant prepares additional produce to be shipped to large grocery retailers. In October, a maize and a farm fair boost income. Manufacturing baskets for the farm and for outsiders keep the labor force busy during the off season. Courses in advertising have helped Jeb develop billboards and a presence on the internet. Jane is a frequent assistant in the office with bookkeeping chores. Please congratulate the Wilsons, state finalists in this year's Young Farmer and Rancher Achievement Award contest. We continue our tour with a visit to the Floyds of Horry County, where we meet Richard, Megan, and daughter Lila. The Floyd Farm is a row crop operation producing cotton, wheat, soybeans, corn, and tobacco. Facilities for handling the crop include 12 tobacco barns and a greenhouse. Richard has developed an innovative black box to monitor these facilities. The box is capable of communicating information to cell phones about temperature, airflow, and other variables. Plans are being made to market the device to other farmers. Richard's skills also include the manufacturing of spare parts, a GPS-guided sprayer, as well as other equipment, allow Richard to do custom work for his neighbors. An active grain marketing plan has yielded improved profits. Megan plays a key role in maintaining farm records. Please congratulate the Floyds, state finalists in this year's Young Farmer and Rancher Achievement Award contest. Our final tour destination is in Lawrence County, where we meet the Hurleys, Eva and Brandon. Brandon's agricultural enterprise began in 2001 with three cows. Today, their operation has expanded to 150 brood cows with a well-developed commercial cow-calf operation plus a background feeding program for 250 cattle each year. Additionally, some 50 head of replacement heifers and some 40 stock bulls are marketed to local cattlemen. New to their operation is the production of packaged beef sold directly to consumers. The Hurley Farm consists of some 1,200 acres of leased land with 300 acres of the property devoted to hay production and 20 acres of sorghum grown for silage. Headquartered in this multi-purpose shed is a first-rate, all-weather cattle handling system minimizing labor needs, allowing animal weights to be checked, veterinarian procedures to be performed, and detailed record keeping to be streamlined. Eva is quite versatile in handling a wide variety of farm tasks. Please congratulate these young ranchers, Eva and Brandon, state finalists in this year's Young Farmer and Rancher Achievement Award contest.